Hey, what's up everyone? Chip Walters here to share another exciting Moe 3D tip. So many of you have seen some of my previous tutorials where I talk about how to create reliefs in surfaces for product design. Uh, this particular tutorial we're going to get a little bit uh, into a little bit more detail over exactly how to create a relief for a separate object. Uh, the reason why you might want to do this is because you want a couple different solids. You want to actually change one color of another one uh, from one to the other. Uh, you probably may, may even want to uh, export them as separate objects as well into programs for rendering like Keyshot. So let's get started. Okay, this is the interface as we all know it. I'm going to share with you a new tip, uh, a new shortcut actually that uh, Max Murnoff uh, created, which is really great. Um, uh, what it allows me to do is zoom in and out using the uh, period and comma keys, or the less than and greater than keys. And here you are, here's the actual shortcut. I've got it mapped to a period key. Z.8 means that we're zooming, uh, zooming out. Z.1, 0.2 means we're zooming in. Uh, and uh, uh, now it makes it easy for me just to click these keys and get to a position where I want to. So now I've got my uh, actual, uh, I'm going to draw my little uh, electronics box, little tower computer here, and uh, and fill up the edges as uh, we typically do. There we go, and we're going to actually create a relief, uh, an actual cutout of this particular product, say it's a bezel or something like this, uh, looks something like this. Let's go ahead and fill up those corners. Now that that's done, uh, we're going to go on, want to use the uh, offset, uh, offset, offset tool. So I'll click on, uh, oops, click on the offset button. There you go. And the offset tool, and we're going to set a distance of one uh, by distance. And we're going to click cap ins, and there we have it. So there's our, uh, 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 our, our object. Now we just simply Boolean that to sub subtract that out so we've got our two parts. Now, because that's a big gap, we're going to be able to see through that if, so if we were to look at it from the side. So we want to create that relief area. So I'm going to select these particular surfaces on this bezel part, and I'm going to go into the offset tool. Uh, and this time, instead of the offset, I'm going to use inset. And uh, inset, I'm going to create that same gap, which I know is 1. Uh, so that means that it's going uh, in 1, so we have a perfectly square gap. But I need to make it a little bit... Uh, use a separate height to make it a little bit thicker because it doesn't always match perfectly that uh, the the other part. So I'll make it a little thicker, thicker so it goes into the actual base of the unit. Then I just basically take uh, show everything, copy the base, select the base, copy it, and then bull and then uh, uh, and then select the, the bezel, boolean the base out of it, and now paste the base back in. So there you have it. Looks pretty good. Uh, as I said. Uh, this is great for creating solids. Now I can both both objects are, are solids. Uh, now I can uh, colorize each one of them, do whatever I want to. So I hope this is uh, something that's been helpful uh, and uh, that uh, you find helpful. And we'll talk to you later. See ya.